So, hi guys. First time sort of doing a video like this. Uh, my name's Henry. I'll put like my social handles just down below here. And I thought I'd chat to you all today about my top five full must-haves for menswear fashion, men's fashion, streetwear, a bit of everything really. I'm no means an expert on this topic. I just thought I'd share my opinions, get a bit of a discussion going about what people are excited for to wear a fall. I feel like a lot of people, fall is like a really exciting time, especially for guys. We all love layering and all love putting our jackets on and getting more dressed up and I think a lot of people's wardrobes lean more heavily towards that. So if you just see me looking around and stuff, I've got some notes, I've got my um, laptop here with some pictures to look at that I'll throw into the videos once I've edited it all up. Um, I'll do an outfit check as well. I was wearing this outfit earlier, how many of you are in the UK and it's like abnormally hot for UK weather right now and my apartment is not set up for hot weather at all. But I'm wearing this Uniqlo U top that I've cropped the bottom off just so it was a bit shorter because I feel like they come up a bit long. My trusty weekday Uno suit trousers. And right now I've got my Yeezy slides that I wear around the house. But before I had on my Tabby Darbies and then I had my Kiko Murad jacket on. But if I was wearing that inside, I would be dead right now because of the heat. So first thing is going to be sort of... <laughs> I think a bit of a boring one to go off to start, but statement jackets. In general, I think statement jackets can be such an open-ended thing if we interpreted so many different ways for a lot of people. The guys are getting a bit more adventurous in terms of what they're wearing, wearing much louder prints, you know, knitted fabrications as well as sort of asymmetrical and like different cuts to them as well. I've seen some really good ones on like the runway and on street style and just from brands that are already out there. I've got this amazing one I got for a really good discount in the summer from Anderson Bell. It's this beautiful like wool knitted overcoat, sort of loose threads on it. I'll throw up some pictures of it and maybe some pictures of me wearing it as well. But honestly, like I can't wait to wear it. It's a bit too warm to wear sort of the back end of summer now. Um, but definitely when it gets to those colder months, I'm going to be wearing it. In general, I think Anderson Bell are amazing at, at making a good jacket. Some of the ones they've got coming out right now are out are amazing. I've put this image of this amazing cowboy one I found with some really cool, interesting hardware on it. It's got a really nice cropped look and the detailing just throughout is, is really well executed. You know, pairing it up with, I don't know, loafers, going for a bit of a smarter look or even going for that cowboy look, wearing some flared trousers. It can be really cool and really interesting. Um, another great jacket from them is this sort of black, I don't know, glittery one, I guess. It's a very simple jacket in terms of the fit, but again, just the detailing and the execution of the, the shiny glittery fabric on it is really nice. I hope to see people wearing this sort of jacket because it's definitely an easy sort of exploration into your wardrobe. By nature, it is just a black jacket. You just added a little extras to it. Another great one is this one from um, Martine Rose. Um, I just love the big collar that's sort of like way higher up than it would normally be and a bit abnormally large as well. The sleeves fit lovely as well and that big pocket just makes a real standout piece. Dress up or dress down quite easily. I think in general as well, Kiko, you're going to get bored of me talking about him so much. His jackets that he's got out right now are amazing. I really want this. I think it's either the the Mano or the Mano jacket that he's got, which is a matching pant as well. And it's just really, really nice. It's very simple, black. I just think sort of the detailing and the way that he's made the jacket sit on body, as well as the sort of popped collar is something a little bit different, a little bit adventurous, but just because of it being a black jacket, it's very simple for people to pair up with other things. And then looking at some of the runway pieces, um, this is an amazing jacket from the Kid Super Louis Vuitton show in Fall 23. It's got this huge big eye print with almost like a half tone pattern all throughout it with like dotted fabrication and I just think it's really nice. I probably wouldn't wear it personally with the matching pants because it looks a bit excessive but I really do like the, the print on it. Um, and then looking at Bianca Saunders as well for Fall 23, um, this amazing sort of puffer jacket with I'm a sucker for some press studs somewhere or some velcro that makes the sort of jacket a bit asymmetrical, a bit different. Moving on, the next thing is probably quite a weird thing to be sort of thinking about as thermals can be just 
worn on their own, layered with pieces underneath. And I think sort of just adding texture to an outfit can be really good. I saw a great TikTok from Mark, I don't know how to say his name, but Boutillier, I'll put the video somewhere in here. Um, and he was sort of showing these really good, um, he showed these really cool sort of Swedish or maybe German um, military thermals. He was actually showing them off as more of like a summer piece. But I think sort of just utilizing this change in texture can really bring something to a very basic outfit. I even really like the ones that Cortez have put out recently. Just the color and the sort of contrast stitch and seams on them is really cool, especially the cream one. And then there's this amazing sort of thermal sweatshirt, I think, from John Elliott. Um, and I love the detailing and the seams on that with more of like a raglan sleeve just to mess with the proportions a bit more. Moving on, the next one is kind of an obvious one and I feel like people will be in the comments like, why are you talking about this? People have said this for time. But boots are just coming back with a bang. I think in women's wear, they've especially been even dressed up in summer with sort of shorts. But I definitely think for guys, it's yet to be really built upon. And I think it's so easy to add extra detailing and add something extra to your outfits through utilizing boots, whether it be hiking boots from the likes of DM, Rower. I've seen these really like amazing cowboy style boots from, I think they're from Toga Virilis. I think that's how you pronounce them. But the detailing and everything on them is really nice, really sort of chunky straps, chunky emblems on them. And I really like that sort of cowboy look, especially with the way that flares are coming into a lot of people's wardrobes. They sit so nicely on the boot. And I guess, like I've sort of touched on that cowboy jacket from Anderson Bell, that with some blue denim, raw hem on the bottom, and some cowboy boots would be sick, whether it be black leather, whether it be suede. I think you can grab so many in vintage shops or on Depop and the like. Obviously, the designer alternatives, things like Miu Miu, their, their buckle detailing that they've been using on the women's ones is become a real trend and I can see that really coming through to menswear as well then our next one is raw denim so raw denim I think this time of the year is the perfect time to start grabbing some it's not really something I've been really that into I had a horror story of having some raw denim and because it's unwashed it just rubbed all off on one of my favorite pairs of shoes and I've never really gone back to them since I definitely have seen a lot of designers utilizing different shapes rather than it being that standard straight raw denim that's been around in the past and there's some great stuff being put out by the likes of um, Ground Cover which is Avery Ginsburg's brand and I just think by doing sort of heavier baggier silhouettes it becomes a lot more incorporatable into people's wardrobes. I'll put this clip of these ones that Avery made and put on his TikTok and Instagram and I think they're great. Um, it's another thing that I think one of my favorite brands, Sage Nation, do really well. They have these really cool pleated ones that they're, instead of them being a traditional jean, they're more of like a jogger with, a, I think they've got a drawstring waistband and they look really nice. The fit of them is super baggy. I think it's done in a really nice way and you can pair it up with some, I, some things like shirt. You can make it look really effortless as well, like you've just thrown them on. And I guess with the way you want raw denim to age and the way you want it to really show those signs of wear. It's great to make it a cut and a silhouette that you're a fan of and you know you can wear so easily and just pair with anything in your wardrobe. And finally, probably another very obvious and easy to think of option for the top five must have things to round it all off is knitwear. Knitwear goes hand in hand with fall and especially transitioning into winter just because of the nature of it keeping you warm whilst not having to layer too much. In terms of the texture as well, it brings a lot to the table. I saw some really cool ones from RNT. They did these like knitted crochet football shirts, football jerseys that I think everybody's seen on their Instagram. I'll pop a picture up just here. But I also think uh, they can be done in a lot more playful way with asymmetrical options coming through from the Lacoste CDG collection, which I'll also put here. They were really, really strong and I'd really like to pick up one of the cardigans. And I think knitwear as a whole is quite a wide category. There's a lot in there. Some of the examples I've got here, are some Four Winters 17 Ralph Simmons options, just really cool cut, a bit more cropped with that big pocket. And I love the striped detail in the collar on these. Another one from Kiko I'm going to show as well. I love the combination of the different textures. I think it makes a really cool cut and it just adds more to an outfit. And then just some other ones here. That I've grabbed off Pinterest. I don't think I have the details of them to hand, but if I do, I can pop a little tag below them of what they are. But I just think there's a bit 
of a more widespread adoption of knitwear in general. And in doing so, it's caused brands to really develop it and make it a bit more interesting and do some things that are a bit out of the ordinary and a bit outside the box. That's it from me. Um, this is sort of my first time doing a video like this. I hope it was relatively okay. Let me know in the comments if you think there's anything you can improve on. Um, I'm sure there is a lot. Let me know if there's anything you want to see in particular from me. And yeah, that's all from me. So I'll catch you all in the next video.